definition of unit trust. So what is unit trust? A unit trust fund may generally be described as a collective investment scheme that collect the money of the investor, invest it with a clear objective and most importantly, um, is managed by a professional fund manager. So in return, they are issued with units in proportion to the fraction of the fund that they own. The fund is then deposited in the stock exchange by their managers. At what is described by as at what is described as the offer price, investors are buying units from managers, and they can sell them back to the managers at how much is the offer price or at how much the agreed terms of um, for them to sell back the trust to sell back the unit trust. So in Malaysia, there are two types of unit trust funds, which is conventional and Islamic unit trust. But the conventional funds, unit trust funds, is much more familiar in the market rather than the Islamic funds. CIS framework. So the start 2014 has stated, uh, the article has stated on October 2013 that a memorandum of understanding was signed between uh, Securities Commission of Malaysia, Monetary Authority of Singapore, as well as Exchange Commission of Thailand. So um, this memorandum was signed to create the Asian Asian. Uh, collective Investment uh, Scheme CIS Framework for Cross-Border CIS. So it was made to shorten the time to market for funds as well as to benefit the local investors to invest more in their market. So um, there is under Asian CIS Framework, there is a set of common standards to assure that the fund managers involved um, in the cross-border offering of investment product have the necessary expertise and experience um, so that the investment so that the investment schemes offered are handed um, are on the basis of industry best practices. Um, the framework, the Asian CIS framework would generate more competitors and competition and also can lead to lower lower fees when there is a collaboration between countries it becomes a country to country open market and upfront fees would be reduced so the next one is by the staff 2014 which is more about quality of the investment industry has increased by 50% in less than three years. Um, the increasement is due to the Capital Market Master Plan 2, which the Securities Commission mentions that the unit trust funds, sorry, unit trust members are driven largely by the fast growth of investment sector. Um, um, also, the, increase, the increasing quality of the investment industry is um, because of the investment ma investment management market growth is expected to surplus um, equity asset over this period. So 
it is a common thing because there is a typical characteristic of an economy that's that is shifting from middle to developing status it happened because unit trust company in capital market are becoming more powerful in the market so the next one is by a journal by Nur Azlina Rifain 2018 which she clearly stated about the Malaysia's unit trust fund market is continuing to grow positively. Um, in the journal, she stated that the overall number of unit trust fund in operation up until now is 528,996,000 units. Um, one of the benefits of the market to continue market to continue to grow positively is because of the professional fund manager. Professional fund manager is the ability of the fund manager to handle funds in unit trust market. Uh, it's very important because they they have to make sure that the funds continue to grow and still stay relevant in the market. So they need to carry out uh, market research as well as the research on the economic trends. Um, to choose on the suitable investments that will uh, produce a massive returns in the future. So for the next article is on the comparative analysis for the performance of a conventional and Islamic trust fund in Malaysia. So this article analyzes the efficiency of two types of unit trust fund which is conventional and Islamic and how they are important or relevant towards Malaysia. Okay, so three findings that the article are given is that technical efficiency is the main contributor to enhancing the efficiency of Malaysian unit trust industry. The second one is that the larger the size of the unit trust company, the more inefficient the unit trust will perform. And the third one is Islamic Unit trust performs better than conventional unit trust. The next article is on the factors influencing the selection of unit trust fund among Malaysian retail investors. This article analyzes the gap where there are four perceptions which is fast performance, fund commitments to shari'ah compliance, fund size and risk tolerance. These four perceptions are hypothesized to exert statistically significant influence on the selection of unit trust by retail investors in Malaysia. The findings that are given in the article is that um, perception of fund size and sharia compliance significantly influence the selection of unit trust among Malaysian retailers. The second one is that implication for this study is for the policy makers in county and finance sectors of government and private financial institution and also this study give implication for individual professional in Malaysian investors. The next article is on the public perception of knowledge for Islamic unit trust in Malaysia. This article analyzes the understanding of public towards um, Islamic unit trust and the aiding relevant authorities to draw effective measures in encouraging people to invest in unit trust of Islamic. The findings are, uh, the first one is general knowledge in Islamic unit trust fund is adequate, so as well uh, the knowledge on the regulatory uh, body and stock screening, but uh, on the knowledge on fund manager, Malaysians have um, excellent perception or knowledge on this. The next article is on the reasons why people should invest in unit trust and how unit trust can build on a limited income. So this article analyzes why unit trust is a great investment and how to invest and also some disadvantage of unit trust. Three findings from this um, article is that the first one is benefits of unit trust. There are five, five benefits that are stated in the article which are the role of fund manager, risks are lower, easy to sell, easy to track and also 
do not need a huge sum of investment. And also the next finding is ways to invest in unit trust, which is through low cost unit provider. And then last finding is disadvantage of unit trust, which state that most funds are chasing the same investment as others. Benefits of trust, according to Lam and Nian Dov, 1993, international mutual funds can bring benefits to investors from making their international investment decision based on long-term past performance of these funds. Apart and Collins, 1994, considered that the performance of global mutual funds surpassed performance of United States domestic mutual funds. In Malaysia, due to strict rules of foreign exchange administration, there is no report on quality of Malaysian-based global mutual funds. Unit trust Malaysian companies allow to invest 30% of their net asset value in foreign currency assets in beginning, but was increased by 50% in 2007. The international investment funds are expected to be launched in Malaysia once the removal of a need to obtain foreign market approval from the Securities Commission in March 2008. This benefits it can increase the international investment funds especially for small investors. Unit Trust Fund that is balanced between both 
perspective.